alongside Teddy Atlas. I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. He's always done a good job of keeping his opponent off of him, yet setting up his own offense. I'm assuming we will see a lot of the jab out of him tonight. Yeah, we'll assume that he's going to fight a fight like his opponent has B.O., body odor. <laughs> you know, and he just wants to stay away from him, and he's going to use that jab as a fan. Well, not a fan, but sort of a measuring stick, a separation stick. You see how effective, you see how much you can control the fight with a jab. That was well done by Roberto Duran. Blocks that punch. Keep moving. Keep moving. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher. But if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Roberto Duran's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Good block by Duran. No doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Double up your chance. Back to the body. Uh. Roberto Duran's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. How about that left hand? Tommy Hearns is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Roberto Duran smashed by an uppercut. Teddy, let's talk about what this wiry, tall, and athletic frame of Tommy Hearns provides for him in the ring because We've seen him use leverage to his advantage with his power punches. Well, guys that look like a tall drink of water, and that's what he looks like to me. You know, a lot of people think they're not intimidating. They look, they get more worried about a guy from Venison Beach that, you know, has all those muscles and everything. But those wiry guys, those are the guys that I have found that worry me because they get leverage and they can really bang. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Duran's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Tommy Hearns' defense is paying off now. Piercing jabs. Ten clicks of the top. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. You're not winning the round. You're not winning the round. I need you to start with your jab and then go. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Hearns has landed a good, solid combination. Resourceful hook by Roberto Duran. 
Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing. That left hand by Tommy Hearns. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Watch that! A knifing left hand by Tommy Hearns. Not able to land the uppercut. Tommy Hearns with a big right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Ten seconds to go in this round. Good looking jab there. And this round comes to an end. Okay, listen, I need you to throw three punches. So round number four is underway. Hearns has been looking very good early on. Teddy, you have him up three rounds to zip. I think that's the only way you can have it right now, although I've thought that before, and the judges see it a different way, but he's been aggressive and he's been effective. He scored well after being hit himself. Doubles up the jab to the head. Hearns is giving us a taste of some of that athletic nice ability, work, that nice hand work. speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Halfway through round number four. Tommy Hearns is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Good solid right hand by Tommy Hearns. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Left and right! Left and right! Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Still not moving enough! One, two! One, two! Beat him to the punch! And the countdown, the final moments of this round. A flush hook scores well for him. And round four comes to an end. Duran's health, welfare, and safety has been greatly compromised now that that eye is shut closed. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Back to the body. Nice block by Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns' defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know, he'll attach they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate.
Halfway through this round. Finish with the hook. The hook. And now they're trading blows. More and more punishment is being doled out. Roberto Duran's face is absorbing, and it's not holding up well. It looks like it's sunset right here on his evening. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. Not precise at all by Tommy Hearns. There you go. Stay away from the inside. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Three minutes gone by in this round. In between rounds here, Duran's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him you have two eyes, right? Who's the good one? Really frustrating his opponent now. Tommy Hearns is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Hearns is well off the mark that time. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. That's what I like to see. Go. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Oh. What impact from that uppercut by Roberto Duran. We knew the cut was bad. Now it ends the night. A TKO victory. The cut was just too much to go on with.